<laughs> Yo, if you did not watch last night's episode of The Real Housewives of New York City, pause this video, go watch the show, and come back and watch this video because I need to hear from y'all what y'all think about this episode. These women, as I've always said, I love them because they are batshit crazy, but last night's episode was on a whole other level. Like, I can't even with these women. I'm literally like, what did I just watch? <laughs> Let's get right into it. The episode was episode 10 of season 12, and it's called Something's Brewing. We pick up right where we left off. They're still in Newport, and basically, um, Leah asks everyone, you know, because obviously, if you guys saw last week's episode, she had her big freak out and scared Ramona and everybody, and it was just a whole big mess. And um, so we pick up, and Leah says, she asked the question, was anybody freaking out by my behavior? And Luann was like, well, you know, no, we, we're not really that freaked out, but it was sort of like the Tasmanian Devil. Like, basically, we're used to a lot, but it was like the Tasmanian Devil. Here comes Elise, and you guys know how I feel about Elise, but we'll get into that in, in just a little bit. Um, Elise is like, I've never seen anything like anybody go off the rails like that before. It was just crazy, and Leah was just like, you know, look, I needed to, I needed to release this. I needed to let this out, and, you know, she's basically like, it was... It, it was cathartic for her, basically. Like, I, this had to come out, and I'm glad it came out because it was cathartic for me. And Elise is like, you know, you must just be a f absolute freak in the bed. Like, if I'm ever going to have a female experience, then it needs to be with you because I want some of the animalisticness to come out. And they have a little laugh about it, and Ramona's like, oh, I thought it was going to be me because, of course, she said that about Ramona before. Um, so finally, um, they sit down for dinner, and... Um, Leah's sister, Sarah, shows up. And so, you know, everybody was very welcoming at first. Um, just, you know, super like, hi, nice to meet you. Oh, my God, you're beautiful. Blah, 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 all this stuff. And if you guys notice, and they didn't really, like, hone in on this a lot. Like, they didn't really, like, show too much of this. But you notice that Sonia was the only one that was just like, hi. Just looks over her shoulder. Hi. I cannot stand when somebody is rude. You're rude at hello. That's, like, the worst for me. You, you... Like, give everybody the benefit of the doubt before you, like, no matter, even if you've heard something about them, but clearly they're, tr she's treating her this way because she feels a way about the way that Leah act before. But this girl just came, like, everybody's being welcoming. You stand out as a, so as a sore thumb being like, hi. So, anyway, um... Ramona says she's relieved that uh, Leah's sister is there so that she can keep an eye on Leah as, as if Leah's not a grown-ass woman. Um, but Dorinda seems to bond with um, Sarah, and that's typical Dorinda. I love Dorinda for that reason, is that Dorinda can pretty much get along with anybody. Dorinda has so much money, and she comes from a certain society, and how she was married, and she's had Hillary Clinton at her house, and you know, all these famous people and, you know, important people in New York at her house and she's a socialite. But Dorinda strikes me as someone who can really, like, get down with anybody no matter where you came from. Like, it's not about that for her. And she, you know, it's typical Dorinda. I love that about her. Um, Tinsley reveals that she's made out with her sister. Crickets? Cue the crickets now? Like, what? Like, even if you did, like, is that something you really want to admit on national tv like that's just and she's like oh just you know like playful like it was just like a cute whatever um but anyway so we cut to um tinsley is hosting a dinner for the last night in newport and it's at her friend's restaurant and so basically um everyone's getting ready and then dorinda um uh, comes over to speak to luann she goes to luann's room and she reveals that she's talked to john and she is already drunk <laughs> She's clearly been drinking, and Luann's like, oh, my God. So it's like, let's pour another drink. Let's drink some more. And she breaks down, and she talks about how, you know, she's fine, and everything's great. And then she talks to John, and I guess she starts to feel guilty because John really still wants to be with Dorinda. He loves Dorinda. But Dorinda was like, you know, it's run its course. You know, I feel bad, you know, only when I talk to him. And I understand that. Um, but they do more drinking. She breaks down. It's a whole mess. And... It's like, we haven't even got to dinner yet, and here comes Drunk Dorinda. And we know that Drunk Dorinda has the potential to be drunk, has the potential, Drunk Dorinda has the potential to be worse than anybody's drunk. It, maybe except for Leah, I don't know. Um, but it's just, 
it's bad. And really any of them, but really we don't want to render drunk, but it does make for great TV, doesn't it? So, um, basically everyone arrives at the restaurant and it, like I said, it's Tinsley's friend. So it's, she's hosting it and some people go to the restroom and Ramona decides that she wants to go upstairs and check out what's going on upstairs. So then Luann, Ramona and Sonia all are on the prowl. They are like cougars and it looks so pathetic. It looks so pathetic. Like they look like it is just... It's so crazy, and um, and you know, um, Ramona has this thing, and we've seen Bethany do this impression of her before, where she's like, you know, that remote the Ramona eyes, and how she does that thing where she's um, basically uh, f this flirtatious her comes out, and Elise does the impression too, and I'm like, I don't know, Elise, maybe you might be starting to grow on me a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but Ramona is always flirting, and and basically. Tinsley says, you know, Ramona does this. She, she she does this thing where she's on the prowl. Yeah, she's looking for a guy and maybe she's horny, her and Sonia. But she does this really to try to show you guys that, you know, I still got it. You know, she wants to let everybody know, yeah, I still got it. Even if it doesn't go anywhere, she loves to flirt. She even says, said in previous seasons that she loves to flirt for the simple fact that it's just fun for her. But I really think she likes to show everybody that she still has it. So now, instead of watching The Real Housewives of New York City, we're watching an episode of Cougar Town because what the fuck is going on? Oh my God. They start flirting with this guy. Apparently, they find out that he's engaged. Um, these men really aren't even that attractive, but it's like, okay, there's men here. So the three of them, like I said, Luann, Sonya included, are just throwing themselves at these men and just like, oh, so what do you do? Do you have a black belt? All this stuff. Apparently the guy from, from, works in the, I don't know, CIA, secret service, something, I don't know, but he's looking really douchey. And um, Tinsley is pissed because she's just like, you know, when your table's ready, you come, you sit at your table, you do whatever you, you're, you know, you're, you're supposed to. Like when your table's not ready, you can sit at the bar, but like these women are have no regard. They're being completely disrespectful. It is disrespectful, and if it had been anybody else and they were hosting, they would feel completely different about this. Um, but, you know, Tinsley is pissed, and she, uh, Leah tries to, to communicate to her that she needs to basically wait till they come back to the table, and, you know, that she needs a better way to communicate with people, and that, you know, just wait and hold off, because everybody knows that nobody listens to Tinsley. When Tinsley starts talking, all they hear is <laughs> that high-pitched voice, and so... <laughs> So she tries to warn her. Tinsley, of course, does not listen. She goes over to talk to Sonya. And Sonya's like, I'm talking business with him. Like, I'm talking business. You know, whatever. Yeah, he's engaged, but I'm talking business and all this stuff. What business are you talking about? Are you talking about that bootleg um, clothing line with him? What What is it that you're talking to him about? It's a mess. Um, but um, so Sonya, yeah, she's talking business. Ramona completely ignores Tinsley. Like, completely ignores her. Tinsley's like sitting there talking to her. Ramona's the other way like doing this whole thing. It's freaking crazy. Um, she won't even look at Tinsley and Tinsley finally just gives up. Meanwhile, Dorinda is hysterical. Now I don't know how many other drinks she's had, but she's hysterical. She's just going crazy. She's talking to Elise and yeah, I'm going to say it. She's talking to poor Elise and she is just Oh my God, like, you know, whatever. She's talking to everybody at first, but then she directs her attention to Elise and it's just absolutely a mess. She has gotten to that point of like, okay, you've gone way too far. You're over the over the limit now. Somebody needs to cut you off, but that's not happening. So Tinsley, of course, has no luck with the three women. So she basically kind of pushes Leah or Leah decides, you know what? I know how to fix this. Um, what I'm going to do is me and my sister are going to go and we're going to flirt with this guy. We're going to go sit over there. And of course he's going to take one look at me and my sister and he's going to completely forget about the fact that Luann, Ramona and Sonya are even here. Well, that plan backfired because yes, the guy did do a double take like, whoa, but he goes off on, um, uh, Sarah, Leah's sister and is a complete asshole. He's like, this is you guys problem and whatever. But the plan does kind of work because the guy leaves and now basically they can come back to the table. And Leah's like, this is your prize. This is who you're flirting with. It's absolute mess. 
So Sarah brings up that Ramona was completely rude to her and Ramona was rude to her in true Ramona fashion. And they start saying things to Sarah and to Leah and mistreating Sarah simply because they have a problem with her sister. Poor Elise. Poor Elise. She is stuck there with, with shit-faced Dorinda who has completely just lost it. And Elise is calling the girls... She calls them the geriatric girl version of go Girls Gone Wild. And I'm like, okay, I'm starting to like you a little more. You contributed a lot more this episode than you have for the last ep few episodes. And then, and then, Tinsley brings up Ramona's behavior. Why, why, why? Tinsley brings up Ramona's behavior. These women turn into complete children and he, and I can't even describe it for you if you didn't see the episode you just got to somehow pull up a clip online but these it's just literally like it's girls going wild but it is like we're crazy we're screaming we're crying Leah says that um you should take a lesson from my sister who basically knows how to act nicely and Ramona's like you know after your behavior last night what are you talking about like you have room to talk and no one realizes that drunk Dorinda decides that she is leaving. She Yes, she gets up from the table. I don't know why they let this lady leave by herself. Because I'm thinking, like, is she even going to be able to walk in a straight line or see how to get back to her room? But she has bounced. And I don't know if she took a car or whether it was on the ground. I don't know what it was. But she's gone. No one even notices it. So why are we even mentioning it? Um, <laughs> Ramona breaks out into these weird tears. And she's like, ah! Like, I'm like, what is going on? And for some reason, Sonya picks up gores and puts them on her ears. And it's just like, I don't know what is going on. It's just nuts. But then Ramona calls Sarah, Leah's sister, once again, calls her a demon. Why did she do that? Because Leah says, you can fuck with me, but you will not mess with my sister. She picks up that ravioli that was... that. that the ravioli that they ordered earlier that sounded really good and throws it at Ramona's face and basically walks away. She throws the ravioli and she is like, I don't care. I throw through the ravioli and I don't feel bad about it. Ramona barely reacts, but she, in her confessional says, I am very, very disappointed. I am very disappointed in Leah. And being disappointed is worse than being angry because it just is. What? <laughs> like, uh, I don't, like, what? <laughs> I don't know. But um, I don't know what this had to do with anything, but the whole time Luann was trying to get everybody to like come together and whatever, it didn't really work out. But for some reason, once Leah throws the ravioli, I don't know if she was trying to do it like a sage thing, but Luann's in a restaurant, in a restaurant. Like, where can you do this? You know, I can't just go to a regular restaurant and set the corn on fire. She picks up a candle and sets the corn husk on fire. These people display, y'all are like vandalizing these people's restaurant. I mean, I know that's a bit far, but still. I'm like, how in the world? What the hell is going on? And yeah, she basically sets it on fire. Um, and... Leah and Tinsley, drunk as hell, decide they're going to make out. Okay, whatever. Like I say, that's some white girl shit, but <laughs> whatever white girls do you. Um, Leah and Tinsley, like I said, make out the next morning. We cut to the next morning and, you know, Leah feels bad. She's like, you know, but I was just pushed to the limit. You know, I, I feel bad that my sister is having a bad time and that they mistreated my sister. But I also feel bad that I threw food. Like, you know, I got pushed to that point. And her sister's basically like, you know, don't you realize that you're not going to get an apology from them because they were being passive aggressive. And she explains something that makes so much sense. When someone's being passive aggressive, it makes it harder to get an apology from them because they can say, you know, I wasn't aware that I did this or I didn't know, whatever. When you're she, when you're aggressive aggressive, it's a totally different thing. And it's like, yeah, I know that. And she's just like, you know, that's one on one of of dealing with human behavior. That's you gotta learn that you just can't do that with these women. Like you can't let them push you like this. And so um, Elise, Sonia, and Ramona sit down and they have a talk in uh, Sonia and Ramona's room. And Elise is surprisingly the voice of reason. And she's just like, you know, um, 
there are some great sides to Lee and she wants to be a part of this group. But, you know, she is definitely holding on to what you guys said about, like, you you judged her. And you were like, oh, this girl with this tattoo. And, oh, my God, these tattoos are dirty people and they're unsanitary and they're gross and they're crazy and they're bad people. And so it's just like, I feel like she's just a loose cannon. I mean, she's done this. She's done that. She's been arrested. Are you kidding me? Sonia, you do realize you have a mugshot, too. Sonia has a mugshot, in case you guys don't know that. But she does. Look it up, if I don't put it here for you guys. Um... So, you know, these people are living in glass houses and casting stones like crazy. So Dorinda and Luann are together in their room. They decide that they need to throw a tea party and they need to throw this tea party party basically with no alcohol. And it's basically a relax, relate, release tea party. Not relax, relate, really release. Relax, relate, reset um, party with no alcohol. I think it's a great idea. She wants to bring everybody together. Like, how do we fix it? Because this has just gone way too far. Um, she explains to Dorinda that, you know, Leah threw food and Dorinda's like, I shouldn't stick around for that. And Dorinda is always on Leah's side because she gets Leah. She understands. I think they kind of cut from the same cloth and they've said this before. I've said this to you guys also. Um, so um, Ram Ramona is like, you know, if Leah wants to, um, back to the conversation with her and Elise, um, she's like, you know, if she wants to hang out with this group, then she, there's a certain caliber and there's a certain way and there's a certain demeanor that you have to have. What the fuck are you talking about, girl? Y'all are crazy. Y'all turn up all the time. Y'all do nutty stuff. Like she, basically Leah fits in this group if she's going to be the turn up queen. Um, so Leah has lunch with her. Well, okay. So first of all, Luann had lunch or dinner with her producer for her show. That was boring. So I didn't, there was nothing to report on that uh but leah it sits down with her family um her mother and father and the one takeaway that i have from that is you need to stop telling your parents all your business the average person doesn't tell all their parents all their business i get it you're trying to in an effort be close to them this acting out that you do that they think you do which is really just you being an adult and being your own person stop telling them that that's enough just don't do it because they're just going to judge you and your mother's going to worry that you're off the rails again so anyway it's tea party time they go to dorinda's rooftop um it's supposed to be hosted by dorinda and luann but of course luann doesn't help at all whatever nonetheless Aaliyah arrives Aaliyah. Aaliyah arrives first and she decides that she's going to take the high road she needs to apologize one because you know not only is it the right thing to do but she does feel bad about throwing food and being disrespectful that's what I love about Leah she know acknowledges that she goes off the rails she's not in denial about it like a lot of people on this cast tend to be sometimes and she realizes that she when she's made a mistake and that she needs to own her mistake and apologize so Ramona and um so Ramona and Elise arrive and Tinsley and Sonia are absolutely late. They do not show up. So they're like, okay, let's just get this started. Leah apologized to Ramona and she's, you know, like, I really want to apologize for throwing food at you. I'm really sorry about my behavior. And Ramona interrupts. And she's like, well, you disrupted the whole weekend. And she's like, okay, well, listen, I do want to hear what you have to say. So just go ahead. And Ramona says, you know, let's just put this behind us. And, you know, she's like, you know, you just, you go crazy. And, you know, I know you say that's who you are, but that can't be who you are. And Leah's like, let's just be clear. I am apologizing for my behavior, but I'm not apologizing for what who I am. I'm apologizing for what I did. And Ramona's just like, you know, she t she's like, takes it way too far. She's like, I didn't sleep for four days. And while Luann was on her side at first, she looks at Dorinda and then looks at her like, oh, she's just really trying to persecute this girl, trying to nail her to the cross. Come on now. You didn't sleep for four days. You're going, you're getting carried away. Girl, bye. She, she basically, they, they, they cut to the scenes of all the, the, the turn up that everyone else has done on this show. You didn't sleep for, come on, you're doing a little bit too much. I think Ramona likes, for, like, she, Ramona loves now, if you followed the show for the last 12 seasons, you know that Ramona loves an apology. And um, she decides that she's going to forgive her. And, you know, they hug it out. And, you know, Dorinda's like, you know, let's not get carried away. Like, let's not get crazy. We've all had our moments, Ramona. So they hug it out. And, you know, she's like, I have a soft spot for Leah. And she does. They do have that motherly thing going on. She's like, I have a soft spot for, Le for Leah. I don't know why I do. And Leah says, you know, I project my mommy issues onto um Ramona and that's true also so basically Sonia shows up with Tinsley and well they show Sonia shows up and then Tinsley shows up and Tinsley's looking like a Barbie and Sonia talks to wants to talk to Tinsley privately she's like you know um I know you were in Niagara Falls 
And she's like, you know, someone sent me a picture and, you know, you're not being honest with the group and you need to tell them. You need to tell them, okay, Lau, I love you, Dorinda, but what business is it of yours that this girl was with her ex-boyfriend? Who are you, TMZ? Like, to, re to report back and say, I know you were there. Okay, what, was I cheating on you? Like, you know? And if you don't tell, you would think that Tinsley was basically cheating on the group and Dorinda found out about it, you know, and would like, or not cheating on the group, say Tinsley was cheating on a husband or something. And I know that you were there. And if you don't tell him, I'm going to tell him. That's the way it came out. And it's just like, why? And Tinsley's like, well, you know, we, we aren't together. And she's just like, you're being deceptive. And she's like, well, but we're not together. Like, you know, we didn't even have sex. Like we were just there. She's like, you know, I, it's still new and it's still fresh. And I'm not really sure what I want to say to anybody. Cause I don't know if it's going to work out. And Dorinda's like, if you don't tell them, I'm going to tell them. Like, I'm basically going to make you tell them. So basically she makes Tinsley tells them, tell them and see, this is the thing. They don't respect you as an adult Tinsley because you don't stand up to shit like that. You have to stand up for yourself. And they, and I get it. She's trying to get you to be smart, but it's like, look, this is my life. I'm an adult. And of course, that squeaky voice, they don't understand her and they don't pay her any attention. But um, she's like, you know, tells the group and basically they're like kind of, what? This is a big deal. Like, oh my God, you're back with them or whatever. And she's like, I want it to go well and I do love him. But, you know, I, I she starts crying. Here goes the white girl tears. She starts crying and she's like, you know, um, you know, I just know that we always break up, but I do love him and I want to be with him. And, you know, I'm just hoping that it goes well. And Luann's just like, you know, you got to take up space there. And, and Leah's like, you got to, yeah, you got to make him get back with you. And you got to put, leave, leave your, they're, they're like, leave a, a hairdryer there, leave a toothbrush, leave a, something in a drawer, basically like make him propose to you and get pregnant and all stuff. I don't know if this is the best advice, but Luann got me when she's just like, yeah, the power of the pussy. Oh my God, a mess. I cannot with these women. <laughs> it's just absolutely crazy. If you didn't see the episode, I guess I've spoiled everything for you. I don't know why if you would watch this video and not go watch that first. But if you did, make sure that you go down to the comments and tell me what you thought. Whose team are you on? Who's your favorite housewife? What did you think of the episode? What do you think of Sonia and Ramona and Luann being disrespectful at the bar? Tell me what you think. I want to know whose side you're on. Comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you are updated to when I have new videos. I love you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.